Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a very interesting question and some medium level of interview question. So in this question we have two tables, uh, one is employee and department. The question is we have to find the difference between the highest salaries in the marketing and the engineering departments. Okay. So we have to check the differences of, you know, uh, between the marketing and engineering department employees, okay, of the salary and difference basically. Okay, so those who have the highest salary in the in the, in these departments. So first we will find the highest salary in both the departments. Okay. So for that we will jo join the both the tables. Employee then department. Check from table. All right. So the basic join, and we will put the join condition here. Okay. So a dot e and uh, we'll give the alias okay e dot the department id and uh, in department d dot the id column is common okay all right so and we have additional column department okay because id column department id column and id column is common in both the table all right so what we want we want highest salary in uh, marketing and engineering department okay so we what we'll do is we will get the highest salary which is maximum salary and for for which department department column all right so we'll use group by department so we'll give the alias maximum salary all right so we have highest salary of both the so what uh, we want the first uh, how do we get the difference? Let's create a CT here. All right. Select a strict from CT here. So we have created a CT successfully. And uh, all right. So now we'll generate two columns here. Okay. We will use a case function and we will generate two columns and we will we will not populate those columns. We will get the difference of the highest salary from both the salaries. Okay. So for that, what we'll do, we'll use the max function in case clause. Okay. Case statement case when department equals to what marketing. I'm your key marketing. Okay. Sorry. Then max salary because the column name is max salary. Okay. And so first we'll run this statement and we'll check whether this statement is correct or not. Okay. Now we'll again copy this statement. We'll populate the value for. another department which is marketing sorry which is engineering all right so we don't want both the columns we just want a simple difference all right so what we'll do here we will put minus sign and we will get the difference so this is the difference which you are looking for so basically uh, the 13,285 rupees difference in the salary of marketing and engineering department all right so guys this was the one way so through through which we generate uh, we got this output okay so we have another way all right so you must have here the uh, operator called pivot okay so in sql server we have a special p operator pivot so with the help of pivot operator we can convert the rows into columns okay so i'll show you how to do that okay so let me copy this block of this query okay so let's have this okay so we have this output okay so in this the department column we have the maximum salary column we have so okay oh, what i want i want to create a, a layout like this where this column should be engineering and this column should be marketing and below these uh, heading of the columns there should be a value okay the three four nine zero value of engineering 
and 48187 uh, value should be below to the marketing okay so we can achieve this the help of uh, a pivot operator okay so what we can do here so first we will write the columns what we want the columns okay so we'll create select statement select and what columns we want in the headings we want engineering and marketing column okay so we'll write e n g i engineering and marketing okay from we will create a temporary result set just like a cte okay and this is the as s o u r c source table all right so it will not gonna work this time because we have not created the engineering and marketing column okay so we'll create a pivot operator okay so the syntax of the pivot, op pivot operator is so we'll, we will have the aggregate function we, we want aggregate values of the department department wise of the maximum salary function column okay so we'll put this maximum salary for department because we want to create a salary column for department wise all right department in and in which columns i want to have these values okay so these are the columns all right so this is done as pivot table so we can run this so that's how i wanted this output the engineering the, the value and the marketing the value all right so now what we want i want to get a difference okay so we can create a cte here simple select a strict from cte we have created a cte so now we will generate the difference cte dot marketing minus sorry cte dot engineering as difference so this was the another way uh, i show you to generate the difference of you know the highest salary between the departments all right so guys that's how you can use the pivot operator and the purpose of uh, to show you the alternate way to generate this output is to give you the demonstration of the pivot operator okay and uh, that's how you can generate this output and if you have the uh, simple and better solution than these two logics so please share it with me on the comments okay i would be more happy to see your logics okay so thank you so much for your time and uh, if you like this video so please subscribe button and like the video and uh, it's mean a lot to me all right thank you so much